Lord Krishna quotes, the key to happiness is the reduction of desires. The moment anybody hears this, they will not feel happy, especially the materialistic world at present, because desires was the only one thing which kept them going to the college, to the schools, to the workplaces. So desires was very, very important. Hence, everybody thinks the religious leaders are talking stupid. The Lord Krishna might be talking out of the textbook. And so and so, they got disconnected from the spirituality means those who have the spirit spirit is spiritual only in the spirit you can see the reality of what you practiced hence it is called spirit and reality spirituality Lord Krishna said the key to happiness is the reduction of desires and everybody knew it is not possible to have happiness and keep desires away. Even if that desire is even for one minute also, let us enjoy the happiness. And that has been brainwashed and given to the general public in washed quantity, almost in every media. These are the same people, rulers who said, Hitler said hundred times, said a lie becomes a truth. And they told that he was back and then they continued to do that through their media of lies. Turning out factories and factories to create desires of the desires. The key to happiness is the reduction of desires. So from my point of discussion with you is, is this truth what Lord Krishna said? How to keep desires? and happiness at two different angles. What Lord Krishna meant at the same time almost all the great spiritual masters have said was you have your own power. You have your own light. When you do when you Try to look into your light, into your power. Then you will understand two words called save and spend. If you know how to save your energy in the sense if you know how to do your homework of your washed power, then you cannot desire anything outside because outside is cheap. Looking outside is bad in the sense a bird in hand is worth two in the bush, goes the saying. In the sense, a bird in hand means you are a bird. Why are you looking at two other people? When you have the money and you go around and tell I am poor, means you are ready to put your hand in somebody else's pocket. You are called a pig. You try to thieve, you try to rob. Hence, a lot of molest and rape in the society, not only on sexual rape or molest, I'm talking, that is a technique, technique found out by the leaders 
to destroy a person using another person or using another term to suppress a particular group. Happiness is when you work very hard. When you sweat it out, you know your power. And when you see a power, people are begging you, yes, to do their course. People are begging you for your intelligence. People are begging you for your professional ethics. People are begging you for your expertise. Then where is your time for other desires? You have to keep on polishing. And you are thinking, why so many people are behind me? Just to you polish yourself. You have zero desires. You don't have to desire. It comes behind you. When that is not there, they say, keep the desires away. And they make you pickpocketed to have desires. Forgetting your power. Then... When you make love with your wife or with anybody, it amounts to rape pain. Because you are in a hurry. Hurry, hurry is useful. The key to happen is the reduction of desires. Because when children go to the school and college to study profession courses, Desire to study by heart means to rob, allow to rob as much as possible. And then they, the thought of giving you time and space and energy to experience, they declare an examination date. You, they are forcing you to run. You hardly have time even to take a bath. And in the examination center, everybody is passing mass hypnotism. So I also should pass. So what you do? Learn by heart. Otherwise, buy things which are cheaper, easier method, shortcut called guides. Or third method is to copy or purchase the exam, uh, examiner. All this leads to greed, Thieving, robbing, backstabbing, which has become a part of our culture. Hence, they say, go back to your culture. Means, go back to your family. The family which sits together, eats together, prays together, grows together. When you do your samskriti, you practice your pranayama, your yoga sins, your samskriti. When you look at the sunlight, you open up your windows and you stretch your body to the Namaskar. When rain comes, you collect the rainwater and then you can understand your power. That power is your happiness. Then you do not have to rape or molest because you are a power. The word for rape and molest will be only in the dictionary, not in your way of life because you have got excess of happiness for, from people to give to you. You have excess of Guru Diction, excess of answers, excess of jobs. You do not have to go and beg and stand in a queue or apply for a job. Who will apply for, for the energy when you have energy? People are applying for energy drinks because they are not sweating it out in the pool. Paul said when he went for a 20 kilometers walk, huge amount of people who followed him were carrying a lot of energy drinks. And 99% of the people collapsed after the first round 5 kilometers, 10 kilometers. He was the only one to reach the target because he didn't carry any water bottle. Maybe a small distilled water. Distilled water, yes. You don't need outside extra energy. The energy, you allow the energy to empty it out like the check cow. The last drop of energy when it is removed then you can walk, you will not fall. You are falling because 
you have been brainwashed, you have been hypnotized, you are living in a hypnotic state. Come out of the hypnotic state. Understand your house, work together with your house. Yes. And when it happens, it has to happen. Don't hurry. Hurry really is useless. Lord Krishna said the key to happiness is the reduction of desires. Desires means reduction of your robbery in the sense. You have to look into the ask you am my knock and the door shall be open. Awake your eyes, stop not to go to reach. Get up, stand up, stand up. Thank you.